morning, afternoon, evening, whatever. I just woke up in this beautiful spot um, up in North Wales and I'm gonna go riding with the Ride of the Wild guys, Phil and Helen. Um, just a leisurely day out on the bike, just go and have some fun, see the sights, see the views. Stayed in a Hotel Hawker last night in the van. Luxury. <laughs> That's not Thanks, a bad I view. I like the brass music. <sighs> I like the horn section, shouldn't I? Oompa, oompa. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, she's brilliant. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm trying to screw how I'm out of the thing. That's how it goes, babe. Wasn't it people coming up to me seeing the 1190 covered in mud and going, You take that off road? Is there anywhere I can take that off road? Have you been on a pay and play day? Mm -hmm. No, mate, it's up here. Give me a five ounce, please. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. he'll be down it. If he comes through, he'll be down there somewhere. Where are we going? Running good today, huh? Hi guys, how's it going? Um, so just a quick update what I've been up to this week and Dakar and how it's all planning out and getting the underway. So working with Off-Road Skills at the Adventure Bike Rider Festival in Ragley Hall in, uh, in that there in Midlands. Really good to see everybody, caught up with a load of people and yeah, great to see everybody there and great to see an event like that doing so well and I think it's going to be really big so yeah check out Adventure Bike Rider magazine and what they're doing and the next year's festival should be good to go um then I today I have gone out with Phil and Helen from Ride the World in North Wales and it's been absolutely amazing been beautiful it's been great to go riding with no stress literally follow someone look at the view and um, what a place it's a beautiful absolutely stunning place to ride um like i said it's really nice to be able to go out with um it was phil uh, helen and martin uh, a good friend of mine and we just went riding looked at the view had nice food yeah no worries dakar wise um the cut-off point for the entries um, was the 15th, and now um, I'm waiting. So it's all fingers crossed. The first instalment's done. They've seen a confirmation of my payment. Um, yeah, it's all getting pretty exciting. And um, this week I picked up a bike as well. A Husqvarna 450 FR Factory Rally. Um, I'm absolutely stoked. I I'm amazed. I'm shocked. Um, that it's happened um i've picked it up it's immaculate it's awesome i can't wait to ride it but i'm not gonna it's um it's pretty crazy that i've got a, a I've got a bike now so the entry's in i'm waiting for confirmation i've got a bike things are coming on really fast and um now so yeah fingers crossed everything it is all going into place now so i'm a happy boy at the moment just been riding just had food and and now i finish off the day talking to you guys watching that sunset which is an epic place why do we go abroad riding when we've got this this on our doorstep it's unbelievable oh. thanks guys thank everybody who's been supporting me um honestly i can't 
thank everybody enough for what they're doing, supporting me to get to Dakar. And uh, we'll see what this week brings.